Howdy, Possum Patty here, and I'm junk journaling. This is part two of deconstructing and reconstructing a little golden book to make a junk journal. In the first video, I took apart the book in such a way that I can put the pages back in and I don't have to fold them. And I demonstrated on how to put extra supports on the bend in the book. So you can do it this way. In this video, I'm going to make the spine and put the book together. So the first thing I'm going to do is need some more of this heavy cardboard or chipboard. What I do is I find a pad of paper. I go in my closet, get out an old pad of paper, and look at the back of it. This is pretty sturdy cardboard. I think it kind of matches what I already have in there. Take it off the pad, like so, and it is ready to go. Size-wise, I usually make a little template. The spine is going to be about two and a half inches wide, and the length is the length of the golden book. So that is going to be my spine. All I have to do is trace it on this heavy board. This is just a cereal box piece of cardboard that I used to make the template with. And I am going to measure this out and mark it for cutting. I'm going to try and get it straight, best I can anyway. Probably make a couple of these because I have, let's see, I have four little golden books that I need to make spines for. So I might as well cut them all at the same time. We got two. Number three and number four. Now the reason I use a very fat marker when doing this is because you have to use a heavier tool to cut the cardboard and sometimes the, the cut width, the width of the cut itself will take up some of the measurements so this way we overcome that problem. Alrighty, let's see, let's do it this way. Alright, so I have four spines. Do I have enough supports? Let's see. I got one, two, three. I think I need one. Oh, no, I do. I have enough. I'm just checking to see if I have enough supports or if I had to make another one. So with this will be, for a book I already have supports, so I need six side supports. And I have two, four, oh you know what, this one is smaller. So I do need one more of these, so let's add that on. Here. 
here and that works out perfectly on this piece of cardboard. All right, so this will be four spines. I need three more sets of supports for the golden books. And I have one, two, three, and one more. And we are good to go. All right, now I'm going to show you my special method of cutting this. Now this is an adult activity video because we use sharp tools for cutting. This is an adult crafting video. All right, I'll be right back and show you how I'm going to cut this up. Okay, I'm back. I have my spine cut. I have three sets ready to go for three more little golden books. I'm going to put those aside for now. My first process in binding is to attach this with some kind of material. Now this is made from a mailing envelope. I think they call it Tyvek. You can see it's got strands of some kind of fiber in there. And I made it just a little bit wider than this measurement. Just a tad wider. And I'm going to glue it down, leaving just a little bit of space between the spine and the edge here so that will have some flexibility and I'm going to use this fabric tack fabric tack glue probably use way more glue than you have to. spread that around a little bit.
stick my fingernail right down in there to make a little space. There we go. I guess you can use a ruler. Get the ruler down in there. Don't do anything without making a mess. And I think I put, yeah, I did. Yeah, this one is too. I guess it's better to do it from this side. You can see your space better. That lines up. Okay, I will probably let this dry overnight and then I will cover it with a piece of fabric and then I'll turn it over and decorate the outside of the spine with some more fabric. 